Hey everybody, I'm here in the kitchen whipping up something a little special today. Now, normally we'd be doing something food-wise, baking something, cooking something. Well, we're baking for day for sure, but we're not doing cakes, we're not doing brownies, but we are using chocolate chips. So, without further ado, let's start making the base for a cake stand with chocolate chips. Now, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need to fill up this, but in any good baking, who cares? Trust me, grab it. Trusty scissors. And then, uh, it's important to keep your blood sugar up. Yeah, they'll work. So, I think that works like a perfectly good amount to get started with. So now that I've measured, I'm going to unmeasure back. And let's get to pumping. Got everything in here. I think that's a good enough mix. So now, because I'm not too worried about the air bubbles, we're just gonna stir and stir and stir. Gotta get that nice and incorporated. I know, I should be using the drill with that special little spinning attachment. But sometimes you don't wanna get everything in the kitchen messy, right? So you go with some of the smaller stuff and do it by hand. Now let me take our chocolate chips. Make sure that is all nicely covered and incorporated. Of course, I like my stuff extra chocolate. Now we go ahead and we take our mold, we take our pan, so to speak, and we're going to try not to make too big of a mess. And as we pour in all those lovely, lovely chocolate chips. right to the brim. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And we're gonna put it in the oven at 0 degrees for roughly, I don't know, 24 to 36 hours. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be going, no, 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 exothermic reactions, the chocolate's gonna melt. You know what, it probably will but then we'll see what it looks like afterwards. This is what's called a fun kitchen experiment. So let's see what happens. Well, it's been about 24 hours and one of the other test pieces that I did has uh, dried and is nice and solid. So let's go ahead and take that out of the oven and we'll see what we've baked. So I went on ahead and did two, a slightly smaller one and the bigger one. Not sure which I'm going to use, but let's start with the small one here. Which, the fun part about baking is getting things out of the mold. So let's see here. Almost, almost got it. Oh, that is a 
adorable. A couple of little bubbles and nicks, but that's, that's me and my epoxy. But not every baking is perfect. And as they say, frosting will cover a wide variety of sins. Oh, I filled this one right to the top. Let's see if I can get my fingers in. Well, that one looks great from that side. Yeah. Lots of bubbles. So maybe not exactly what I was thinking of, but I do like how that's turned out. And also tells me that definitely uh, chocolate chips sink. They don't float in resin. So let's go ahead and turn the light on. gonna be a fun one very cool I think I'm gonna have to declare this baking a success <laughs>